In this video I want to show you a Google Chrome website audit tool. Alright, so check this out. Uh, in the last video we went over the local roofing, so I'm just going to use uh, the number one guy for Fort Worth Roofing and check out his site. So, to use this tool, all you need to do is right click on the website and go to inspect. You can also go up here and go to view developer developer tools. So view developer developer tools. And that'll bring up this panel. It may be somewhere different. Um, align differently or something like that. You can do the alignment over here if you'd like it displayed in other areas. I like it on the bottom. But what this tool is, it, it allows you to inspect different elements on the page. So like if I wanted to inspect this item right here, it would tell me the code and the styles. So if you're a web developer, you're probably familiar with this already, but for those that aren't, that's what this is. But hidden or I wouldn't say hidden, but there is this tool within the inspector called audits. And if you go to this audit, you can perform an audit. So let's click this button here, and you can check which ones you want it to audit. So notice that they have this SEO audit down here. And I'm just going to run all of them so we can get it and see what it returns. So run audit. And it'll take a second, so I'll pause the video. All right, the audit is complete. Uh, the reason why I want to bring up this audit is, you know, Google is normally the search engine that you're trying to rank your site in, and they provide this browser called Chrome, and within Chrome, they have this SEO audit. So I think it's pretty important to pay attention to their suggestions, considering they're the search engine that's providing the browser that you're trying to rank in. So why not look to see what they have to say? All right, so once the audit is done, you can kind of run through here and see what it says. You can see here that it's scored, this website in particular is scoring pretty low on some of these things, but their SEO score is pretty high. But this gives, all these audits give you some things that you can work on if your performance, accessibility, progressive web app, best practices, and SEO scores are a little bit low. So what I normally do is run this audit on the site that I'm working on see if I can improve any of these things. A lot of these things are like caching and minifying CSS and all kinds of cool things that you can look at to determine what you need to work on for your site. So out of all the SEO stuff, one field audit is just the font size. So to get maybe a, a perfect SEO score, they could adjust the font size on their website. So again, I wouldn't just focus on the SEO. I would focus on all these different things as much as I could to make the site better and perform better in search engines and for user experience in general. So yeah, that's a cool little tool that you can use to audit your website for search engines and for general UX. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.